For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. The love which does not sacrifice is a barren love without fruit. Love is a productive mother that gives birth to numerous virtues such as compassion and affection, a word of encouragement and a word of consolation, attention and care, forgiveness and seeking the salvation of the soul. This is the spiritual love. Perhaps the most distinguished quality in love is sacrifice. This is the big difference between love and lust. Love always seeks to give and lust always seeks to take. Lust seeks to take because it is concentrated around the self. But love, as the Apostle said, does not seek its own. Love does not sacrifice and is not a true love. Love sacrifices everything, does not keep anything from whom it takes, no matter how this thing is precious or essential to it. The best a loving person can do is to sacrifice himself. And the Lord said, Greater love has no one than this to lay down his life, friends. This was shown in depth on the cross. The crucified Jesus is a sacrifice of love. The Bible said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. During Passion Week, Many contemplate the passion of Christ. Christ's passion is merely a natural result of his love. Love here is the origin and passion is the outside appearance. Would we contemplate his love which he has shown in his passion? The candle melts to give light to others. It also sacrifices itself for the sake of others. We put candles before the icons of the saints. It is a, a symbol. Also, the incense seed burns in fire to give sweet smell, which ascends to God. It is a delightful burnt offering to God, and it is a symbol also. So live a life full of sacrificing love to others and see what a change it will make in your personal life today. Stay with us and let's listen to the following story. Only in opera do people die of love. It's true. You really can't love somebody to death. I've known people to die from no love, but I've never known anyone to be loved to death. We just can't love one another enough. A heartwarming story tells of a woman who finally decided to ask her boss for a raise in salary. All day she felt nervous and apprehensive. Late in the afternoon, she summoned the courage to approach her employer. To her delight, the boss agreed to a raise. The woman arrived home that evening to a beautiful table set with their best dishes. Candles were softly glowing. Her husband had come home early and prepared a festive meal. She wondered if someone from the office had tipped him off. Or did he just somehow know that she would not get turned down? She found him in the kitchen and told him the good news. They embraced and kissed and then sat at the table to a wonderful meal. Next to her plate, the woman found the beautiful letter and it read, Congratulations, darling. I knew you'd get the raise. These things will tell you how much I love you. Following the supper, her husband went into the 